<laughs> well, this Friday, the Piedmont Opera returns for its 45th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Super cool. It is. And to celebrate, they're going to be performing La Traviata. It's also known as The Fallen Woman, one of the most famous operas in history. And of course, for such a special production, they needed a very special lead mm -hmm. as well. So Lu Yulia Lysenko is an opera singer from Ukraine. Yep. This is when she lived there. She was a prima donna at the Opera House where she performed. And of course, this is a term that's used for the best singer in that company. So it's going to be a very, very cool event. Joining us now is Yulia, uh, Yulia Lysenko. Good morning, Yulia. Thanks for joining us today. I did want to tell you, that's our seven day forecast behind us. Um, Yulia, I can hear you. Um, we know that you immigrated from the Ukraine in 2017. First of all, uh, I think it's awful what is happening in your country and you know, I hope your friends and family are doing okay with all of that. How do you balance having such a successful career here and all the demands of, of your personal life at the same time? Oh, truly that's very hard <laughs> for now. Um, and um, I just start my day to calling my parents just to be sure that they're still alive because my parents and my grandma they are under russian occupation since um uh, first week of uh, february and uh, that's very hard but you know um uh, music really helps me to to live my life not only uh thinking about how they are uh, are they alive? Uh, do they have food and water? You know, some very, um, mm, yeah, uh, that's hard. Yeah. And I'm always check my uh, my phone with news, uh, like what happened while I was busy, you know, on rehearsal. So yeah, that's hard. Yulia, well, our hearts certainly go out to you and your family as well. This is I can an unimaginable situation for you to deal with. And I know you just said that sometimes it's your work that sort of helps you to move forward. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be performing the role of the Aletta in the, in the play. Can you sort of explain to us about how you're prepping for the role and maybe what you're most excited about? I'm very excited that I uh, can sing Violetta for American audience now. Uh, because uh, my preparation was, uh, uh, you know, I was singing Violetta for like, almost uh, 10 years in Ukraine. So <laughs> that uh, lady was ready. <laughs> <You know? laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, since uh, that time, I, I've changed and um, with my life experience, I think Violeta will, will be more interesting, uh, more professional, <laughs> and I think more sensitive. Yeah. Well, I imagine that preparation is is going to be different when you're performing this opera in the Ukraine versus performing it in the United States. What what are the differences between opera in each country? Um, uh, generally, the system is different. In Ukraine, you can um, live in one city and have you know like full time job. Uh, but in the United States, if you want to sing a um, title role, you have to travel. You have to have contracts, uh, auditions, and you have to leave your family and um, just escape for months, sometimes months and a half. And uh, that's harder, <laughs> I can say. But it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Well, Yulia, I know you're going to be bringing just so much emotion. As you said, this is a you've done it for 10 years, but even going around this time, it's just another way to bring the story to life. So can you sort of tell Brian and I what your favorite scene is? I've never seen the play, so I kind of want to give us a sneak peek. <laughs> oh, please join us. <laughs> <laughs> Performances that 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 production really have to be seen and, and heard. Um, so uh, what can I say? I generally just love this lady. I love uh, Verdi's music and uh, I just love her transformation. You know, like in first act, she's a very light person. At least she wants to show us. And uh, um, 
she's like courtesan and she wants to enjoy her life but during the opera we see her transformation how sensitive she is how uh, she wants to be loved and uh, she wants love and um, to love and uh, um, she knows that she's dying but at the end of her life uh, she wants to see that uh, everybody is safe everybody is okay and she will die in peace mm -hmm. you know just her character and Verdi he was an amazing composer he uh, wrote it that's so good that you can hear in music all thoughts all uh, changes um, in character you know that's just amazing well, Yulia, it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic performance. Thank you for inviting us to come see it. I've never been to an opera before, and I feel like this will be a wonderful place to start. But of course, we are wishing you the best of luck this weekend, and the Piedmont Opera's production of La Traviata begins this Friday. That's so cool. Don't worry, you'll have three chances to see that performance, and those tickets are going to start at about 20 bucks, so make sure you snag them. You can find <laughs> out more information there at the website on your screen, piedmontopera.org.